Hello Parade Watchers, and welcome to a new history video. Today we'll be looking at a leader that was made for you and me. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. -E. Yep, none other than Mickey Mouse for his appearance as a giant balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. However, like the Sonic episode when I mentioned about Pat Max video, Disney Dan has done a great retrospective of the Mickey Balloon in his video on an episode of Distory back in 2017. What I'll do here, like I did with the Sonic episode, is just summarize of Mickey's history and make it a little bit different here. 1934 marked Mickey Mouse's parade debut. His verse design is generic as I called it. However, the design was made by his creator, Walt Disney, and Tony Sarg the man who would create the giant balloons to the parade. He would retire in 1937, making only four appearances. It wasn't until 1971, in honor of the opening of Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, Disney brought back Mickey as an all-new balloon. His second version would be another generic design, but it did have the features he usually wears, with the exception of the yellow shirt. However, that year marked the first time that all the balloons were grounded due to extreme winds. So he didn't have the opportunity that year, but he would start in 1972, and there were four years that the balloon was damaged, in 1975, 1978, 1982, and 1983, with the latter one possibly due to its aging on why it was torn apart, which was retired after that, making 13 appearances. Unfortunately, as of 2020, some of the pre-1983 parades is still a piece of lost media for the parade's history, so I can't show it to you because I don't have it. They even skipped him for the 1983 broadcast on NBC, but we do have 1980 and 1981. Seven feet of them. <laughs> when I see him, I know the parade is well underway. The honor of being first. He's the one we want to see. Old Mickey Mouse.
In 2000, the Walt Disney Company decided to brought back Mickey to celebrate the new millennium, this time as band leader Mickey. His third design shows him wearing his band outfit from the 1950s color intro of the Mickey Mouse Club. Ironically, this version only lasted one year, but Mickey still got the opportunity to become Macy's holiday ambassador of 2000. Make way for the Music Mouse. The Walt Disney Company furnishes Mickey Mouse the balloon. Today, Mickey's the leader of the band, revisiting moments from his first color cartoon, the band concert, way back when. FDR was president, and kids could see the band concert for less than a dime. The year was 1935. Walt Disney created his megastar mouse while on a train ride from Kansas City to Hollywood. The Mickey balloon is wider, incidentally, than two minivans. Speaking of Minnie, she would have to climb seven stories just to whisper sweet nothings into those world-famous ears. Minnie's buffed-up big boy can free-lift 415 pounds. That's more than any Olympic athlete. All right, Matt. The original voice of Mickey Mouse was... I'm tempted to say Tiny Tim, but I'm going to go with Walt Disney. Absolutely. You are correct, sir. The legendary creator himself. In 2009, Disney Cruise Lines decided to bring Mickey back as Sailor Mickey to promote their two new cruise ships, the Disney Dream and the Disney Fantasy, set to sail for 2011 and 2012 respectively. For his fourth version, it shows him saluting to the crowd in a sailor outfit while riding on a massive anchor, and like 2000, Mickey was named Macy's holding ambassador of 2009. You know, it's ironic. Mickey Mouse made his movie debut in Steamboat Willie, just up the road on Broadway at the Old Colony Theater. That was 81 years ago this month. Well, this morning here on 34th Street, Walt Disney's ageless creation joins us as Sailor Mickey, courtesy of Disney Cruise Lines. You thought you were a big anchor. <laughs> guy at 608 pounds. Sailor Mickey is practicing to lift anchor on Disney's newest ship called Disney Dream. It's scheduled to set sail in early 2011. This 128,000 ton luxury vessel will feature all the great things guests love about Disney's current ships, plus the first ever water coaster that is called the Aqua Duck. Coming up, the Buzz Lightyear balloon and the big guy himself, Santa Claus, all here live on NBC. Take a look at this with anchor in hand, Disney's anchor character Mickey Mouse salutes his many fans across 34th Street and the Seven Seas. Mickey the balloon sails at six stories high, weighs more than 275,000 mice. Sailor Mickey is excited to announce that the newest and largest ship, the Disney Cruise Line fleet, the Disney Dream, is setting sail on its maiden voyage in January. The Disney Dream will take family cruising to new heights with amazing innovations, including the Opera Duck, the first water coaster at sea, taking riders up, down, and even over the edge of the ship. Michael Feinstein, thank you very much. It's been a long voyage from Steamboat Willie to Sailor Mickey Mouse now. It's anchors away for this lovable symbol of Disney Cruise Line as 50 crew members guide the 600-pound saluting sailor through the air currents of 34th Street. This March, Disney Cruise Line will welcome its fourth ship. It's called the Disney Fantasy, and apparently it's featuring the first water coaster at sea, the Aqueduct. Apparently more than it's quacked up to be. Sailing through the air currents seven stories up is one of the most famed figures on Earth or above it. Mickey Mouse, Sailor Mickey is off to captain the Disney Cruise Line fleet, which is now traveling to the most stunning destinations in the most exciting regions of the world, including the rugged beauty of Alaska, the sun-drenched shores of the Caribbean, the Bahamas, 
and the Enchantment of Europe. It's anchors away as Sailor Mickey salutes his fans and cruises down 34th Street. the Marion Carroll showboat is Sailor Mickey has made four appearances. If you do the math on all four versions, Mickey Mouse has made a total of 22 appearances in the Macy's Parade. And like Kermit the Frog, he is one of those characters that can come back as an all-new balloon. Oh boy! <laughs> 